start with this. Um, I don't have an update on Manny Bates at this present time. Um, I don't want to speculate on anything. Uh, I will wait. Um, he's going to have an MRI done. And as um, soon as we get any type of results, um, we will, as soon as I talk to him and his family, uh, we will share it with you guys. But I don't know anything. Um, and I don't want my mind to go to the worst situation. So I have no idea what the situation is. Um, I just look forward to getting the results, and uh, I'll keep I'll keep praying for them. Uh, as far as the game goes, uh, I don't know that we could have had a better opening game. And what I mean by that is just having some adversity. Uh, you look at it; they jumped out on us 13 to one. Um, we handled that. I thought we did a good job. Um, some guys came in off the bench and gave us a tremendous lift. Um, we started off slow, finished the half. And then from that point on in the second half, I thought we did a tremendous job. We played NC State basketball in the second half. Uh, when you look at it, I think we all scored on 48 to 30. Uh, we were able to force them in some turnovers. Our young guys started to understand what we had to do in scouting reports and making the right play. And so I'm happy, you know, uh, give credit to Jericho, uh, who's a, a senior who's been there before. He did a tremendous job. He was very calm in the locker room. He was very calm in timeouts. I thought Sebron was tremendous when you talk about 18 rebounds, I mean 18 points and 11 rebounds. And then, as you guys, we talked about it all the time, Miles is sitting here, he'll say the same thing. To Quavion Smith is a bucket now. He, now, he ain't go, there's not too many shots that he don't like. He's going to take a lot of them. But he can play. And so we did some good things. Um, we're going to build on that. I thought Cam Hayes was really good and solid, leading us with four assists. Uh, Breon did a, a lot of good things. Uh, we'll build on this. These games, when you look across college basketball, and I, I haven't looked at the score, but these first games are always the toughest ones. I don't know who's won or who's lost, but um, we got out of here, and I think we did what we're supposed to do in the second half. So I'll take questions. How would you, um, how would you assess uh, E.B. Dewana's performance, especially coming in after Manny's injury earlier on? I thought he rebounded the ball very well, you know, and that's what we wanted from him. I, I've been very critical of E.B., talking about I need him to become a better rebounder. And uh, he did a tremendous job. He's a guy that didn't play last year. I think he, all of last year he had eight rebounds and um, two blocks. And tonight he had 10 rebounds and what, was it three blocks or two blocks? No blocks? Two blocks, I think. So this is new for him. You know, him and Jalen both, I thought, played, did their job. They did a good job coming in. And, you know, uh, we're not asking those guys to score right now. And so they're doing a good job of rebounding the basketball. You, you've seen Tequavia and Breon in practice for a while now, but this is the first actual game. Are you surprised at how like calm these guys were and how seemingly seamlessly they, they kind of kind of stepped in there and played their first game? You know, it's 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 weird. And I always say there's certain things when you recruit a kid from high school that translate. I think rebounding is one, uh, but their ability to score is the other reason why I knew they were going to be successful early. Um, you're talking about two guys from the state of North Carolina that both have three state championships. Um, one of them has it in three football championships, and Tequavion has won and scored a lot, a lot of points at Farmville Central. So, no, I'm not surprised because I know they can score. What happens with freshmen is what keeps them off the floor is that they're not ready defensively, and we've got to get better in those areas with those two guys. Do you have any update on Cam Hayes? I don't. I just think Cam cramped up a little bit. Um, I don't. I don't. I don't see any issues with him. You mentioned the defense. It it was a lot more aggressive in the second half. Did you feel that Bucknell was just getting too comfortable in the first half? Well, let me say this, man. It's so good, JC, to have you back and you ask me questions, man. How you doing? I am good. You look good, JC. Um, I thought we didn't disrupt them early on. Um, they completely put us on our heels. Um, they advanced the basketball. They drove it hard to the paint. They made shots, and we didn't put them in a situation where they were uncomfortable. And I think once we started playing the way we normally play, we kind of hit back. It was good for us, especially with so many young guys playing, to get hit just to see how we would respond. And I thought we did a good job in that area. You, were you like truly impressed with the fact that the young guys came in after you know going down early? You kind of felt the emotion in the room, but they were they were steady and, and did their job when they came in. I, I thought they were great. Um, 
you know, it's, it's weird because I was outside of Jericho and then Cam Hayes would say something, but the guy who was talking the most was Taquavion Smith. And that's great. When you got a freshman that's communicating and talking and telling everybody, let's go, then that's a good thing for your program. And, you know, as we talked about, all three of those guys are going to be really good players at, at NC State, and I like what they bring to the table. Do you have any message to all the Wolfpack fans that made it back to the arena tonight for the first time in a while? You know, I, I want to personally thank everyone who came out. Um, I, I completely understand those who are staying away right now. Uh, we have, and when I say we have to at, at NC State, we have to do our job, and our job is to make sure that everybody understands that it's safe to come to an indoor sport. Uh, we have some of the best fans in the country probably the best fans in the country, and I need them to start coming out. I need the atmosphere to be better. Uh, I'm not mad at it because I thought those who came out, I'm so appreciative of them, and they did a tremendous job, and they were a big part of our win today. Uh, but as we move forward, I want to add to it. I want those folks to go back and say, what a great experience to have a chance to watch you know, basketball again. What a great opportunity to see a team score 88 points and turn the team over 17 times and get out and get 18 fast break points. So we have a good um, a good program and a good team that we're putting out on the floor, and I hope that everybody will understand that we will do our job and make sure that everybody's safe and, and uh, we're, ma we're wearing masks and, and taking care of everybody so we can get back, people back into the arena. But thank you for asking me. That's a good softball for me. <laughs>